So um, action research, um, participatory methods um, were things that people looked for and started to develop in the, way, in the field of, of mental health. Um, and, we, and, use, and doing a lot more narrative type research and research based on personal perspectives. Um, there's lots and lots of service users in, in the UK now um, who have that kind of background of uh, being service users and doing research. And we have, um, as, we, as Alison's talked about, a lot of survivor led research. And a lot of the voluntary organisations, NGOs, actually, man actually put some money into supporting that kind of research. Um, what we, we, what we're in, in what we're trying to do is kind of remove the mystery from psychiatry. As we talked about, you know, psychiatry still has this mystique of being, you know, um, the you know, the objective way of looking at mental health and having the answers. We want to find out what psychiatrists know. We want to understand the limits of their knowledge because, um, you know, it's, when you start digging into it, you find out there's perhaps they, they don't know as much as they claim that they know. Um, and we're looking at different kinds of contexts and different kinds of forms and uh, forms of support and help in real life contexts, rather than just looking at the difference between the impact of one drug and another drug, which is a typical form of uh, psychiatric research. We're more interested in uh, how people live and what helps people in their, their day to day lives outside of hospital, not in a clinical context. So the methods of clinical trials don't work too well for that kind of um, that kind of knowledge about how people live and what helps us live. Um, we need different methods for that. Um, very hard to apply randomised controlled trials to that kind of kind of question that service users want to ask. Um, and how do you measure recovery? Um, can you do that with statistical methods? Um, it's a, it's a, not easy. Um, so, uh, this is survivor research. Um, uh, Alison already mentioned that Alison is one of the editors of that. Um, I've, I've got a chapter in that book. Uh, this is a book that's come out to celebrate 20, 20, the past 20 years of survivors doing research, and it's really well, well, well worth getting, a really good read. Uh, lots of different perspectives, personal perspectives, and um, method, methods that people have used. Um, we aim as survivors doing research, we aim to do good quality research that will be taken seriously. Um, and research is quite hard work and there are strict rules to be involved, to be, to be observed um, if you're going to get taken seriously. That, that was the problem I had trying to do a PhD. Was I, was used, um, I was used to being an activist, I was used to kind of putting my point of view in what I said. And suddenly, you know, that isn't going to go, that isn't going to um, satisfy your professor at college. You're going to have to kind of like backtrack a bit and try and uh, learn actually how to be a proper researcher. So you have to try to balance those two things, becoming a researcher and you know, being somewhat objective about what you're doing, but still um, knowing where you're coming from. So quite, it's quite difficult, but um, I think once you've got your proper, once you've got the research question and methodology, um, you, they, and that's based on what you really wanted to research, but it's also, yeah, then you have to kind of learn how to ask questions without influencing them too much. So that was um, quite a technique to get, get my head around and report faithfully what you hear and don't try and channel it through what you wanted to hear. Um, but once you've got all that information, then you, you, you can shape it in, in a way that makes sense to you. And as long as that's just, anyway, that's just, um, that's, that's just how you go from being a, an activist to a researcher. There's a lot of steps to that, and it's not always very easy, but a lot, it, um, a lot of us have done that and still felt that we're doing research that we can believe in, which we feel can make a difference.